All good to go. Excellent. No worries. I didn't change the names. Player one is Sentenza. And that NGI DX17. Beautiful. So we've got another Yoshi player, interesting, another Yoshi player. Well, there are some strong Yoshis in the UK, um, Pidgey being one of those stronger Yoshis from uh, Scotland. He obviously plays a red Yoshi as well, interesting to see how these two would uh, work together. Sentenza getting off to a very, very positive start, very aggressive, really pushing... pushing Rose around, getting rid of Luma quite early on. Seems like this player knows his stuff, so... Maybe a new player to this theme, but definitely not a new player to Smash. Do some very, very nice stuff to begin with. Here's the game, knocked around. Luma is back, so D DX just wants to kind of hold on to that. Gets caught by the uh, tongue, but obviously Luma allows this to kind of keep the for the, the up smash from happening. Just following those reads and getting the forward air as well. Really strong stuff from Sentenza. Very aggressive player. Nice to see this. And handles the Rosalina in a matchup well. A lot of players who play Rosalina do get quite scared for this matchup, knowing that it's, it's quite difficult. So this confidence going in is very, very nice. Up smash lands. Takes the first stock. Sentenza takes the first stock against him. So first stock goes to Sentenza. Only 100%. He can but he is quite a heavy character being this Yoshi. Did lose his second jump though, so there it goes. Ro Rosalie Lina got quite lucky with the uh, second jump being taken. Interesting second stock. Ben's definitely tightened up his defenses and kind of learning a little bit more about how Sentenza tends to go for his his um, his, his aggression. But Sentenza still doing a solid job here. Can't quite use the eggs as well. Ben DX17 doing a good job of just neutralising the eggs using using the star catch there. I actually know the name of that. Is it Gravitational Pull? I don't know the name of her move. I should know that. If someone can correct me, that would be fantastic so I don't make a fool of myself on a wider scale. Gets the catch there. Into the up, into the up uh, end combo for Luma there, but doesn't, doesn't quite take the stock. <clears throat> Sentenza just trying to find a big hit in. Gets the forward air again. Very, very nice. Gets the egg as well. Luma is gone. He needs to press his advantage now. He can't squander this moment when the, when the tables are not turned, but more yeah, just balanced. E e Equalise, let's say. Ben's, ben just, he doesn't have to do much. He just stands on the edge and just waits. It's just this looming presence that's very, very, very good at mind games. Gets the catch on Yoshi. There goes the first game. First game going to DX17. He goes 1-0 up against Sentenza. It is gravitational pull. I was right. Good. Good, 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 good. But don't worry. After, the, after, the, after this match, we are going to be having D, DJ KJ take over. And I know, whereas I'm a little bit more play-by-play, -play, he's much more of the an analysis kind of area. So if you do like your, ana your analysis when it comes to watching the, these games, KJ's the one you want to go for. Um, if you prefer your PvP, then I hope that uh, I'm doing a good job for you guys. Remember, solo comms is very, very different. We are looking to get double comms in the future. I just missed something. 
Interesting. Sentenza decides to swap out his Yoshi and goes for a Ryu. You don't see many Ryus recently, so I'd like to see how well Sentenza can play this character. goes for the uh I don't actually know the name of that move I, when I was a child I used to just call it the fetcher fortune because that's what it sounded like you were saying it's not called the fetcher fortune so I'm not going to call it that I could if you if you prefer I know there's like a paradox is another um Ryu player that we see in the UK. A very solid Ryu. He's finding his way in now. <coughs> Using those platforms to just, to, just to land. Using it to his advantage because Rosalina does have... Oh! Just gets his, just catches with the down air and that's enough to secure the stock. He did use a second jump. Very, very different matchup. I'm interested to see what Sentenza was thinking about this particular matchup. It did seem like his Yoshi was handling the Rosa for the most part. Okay, Rosalina, DX17 Rosalina did adapt in the second stock, but it did seem like it had a lot more going for it. What can Sentenza find with this matchup? He needs to get in past that Rosalina, that Luma. He's getting caught by a lot. He can't see anything to land right now. It's a tough stage. Well, tough, tough part of this matchup is landing. Trying to use his focus punches, but not really getting anywhere with it. Needs to find a way to finish this stock up and quickly. Nice back air. What I like, oh, just catches the Hadouken there. Not the regular Hadouken, obviously, there's a certain name for that Hadouken as well. Pushes back with the focus punch. Just kind of trying to see out that move. Gets the uh, the nair out there. Just gets caught. This is very very dangerous stuff now for Sentenza. He can't find that hit he needs to. So there he goes with the Shoryoken. That's enough to secure the stock. Interesting little moment off the side of the stage there. But didn't quite manage to fight. Gets caught there, go perfect. Gets the sweet spot. Smashes him, him downwards into the blast zone. 2-0 to DX17. Really, really nice work. It seemed like for the most part the Ryu matchup wasn't the best idea there for 